Welcome to Revolutionary Motion, where we show you tennis from a different perspective. Here's one of the most common mistakes we see a lot of amateur players and recreational players make that causes them to lose control of their tennis shot, especially when the speed gets higher and their tennis game simply just suffers. So what is that mistake? A lot of players that we see, when they hit their forehands, they have a pretty decent forehand motion or backhand motion, but as soon as they're done hitting their shot, they drop their racket like this, let it dangle, hang around, wait for the next ball, maybe don't even move for the, for the recovery. And when the next ball comes, they now suddenly take the racket back up, try to hit the next shot, the technique looks all right, and they again leave the racket hanging onto the floor, maybe move around like this, because it seems like they're doing this because they're bored or something. Now the problem with that is, uh, it obviously doesn't have any effect on the shot per se, but what it does is it makes you lose control of your racket. You're just relaxing. So your body is in a relaxed state, your racket is hanging down to the floor, moving around, so you don't have it under control. Now when the next ball comes, obviously you have to get the racket back in control so you can start with your motion the correct way. This doesn't seem like much of an issue if a ball comes very slowly to you but it, it poses two threats. Threat number one is a loss of concentration because you don't take the game seriously. Because you know, there's not many people in the world that can concentrate and then drop focus and regain focus in an instant during a rally. That's not very simple. So as soon as you drop your racket, the mental focus is kind of off the ball. You're just not taking it seriously. You're not fully uh, invested in your match. And the second problem is uh, a problem of timing. So if you're dropping your racket and the ball comes quicker and now you have to regain control first before you can even start your backswing, you're losing a lot of time on the court. That time can be fatal when you're actually trying to play a faster rally against better opponents. So creating this type of habit of dropping the racket like this will make it very challenging for you to improve in the later stages of your tennis journey. So make sure that you keep your racket under control at all times so once you're done hitting a shot you want to get the racket back here being back in the ready position same exact way you would do it at the net hopefully some people even do it at the net this wrong way so let's hope you're not one of those. So try to make sure that you keep your racket up here at all times and always keep it under control. That does not mean that you now have to tighten up like crazy just to make sure to not lose control of the racket. It simply means keep the racket in your ready position in a more relaxed state than, than um, you know, just being tightened up and tense because in that case you're also losing a little bit of flexibility and your shots will also suffer. So try to find a relaxed state where the racket is in the right position so when the ball comes to you next you can start with your backswing right away so you're not wasting time and you don't waste your focus. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you guys soon.